Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our previous video, we have seen um, you know creating a stack navigator with React Navigation 5, and we have also used React Na with Native Paper. So, so uh, to you know show you the you know features of uh, React Native Paper. So in this video, we we are going to you know um, style this app bar with React Native Paper. So React Native Paper provides uh, there are many features are there. So this is one of the feature like we can you know update the um, um app bar with the use of uh, react Na react native paper uh come let's uh, jump into the video so before that if you are new to my channel uh, do uh, don't forget to subscribe and also uh, do watch all the uh, previous videos uh come let's go into the video uh so now we can see uh once we click on sign up we are you know we are into sign in screen and we are able to go back so what the uh, you know uh, if you look at the app uh, header component so this is this is you know um, uh, with respect to the um, Android's uh, header so we'll customize it with the uh, react native paper now. so what I'm going to do now I'll go I'll move into the app stack navigator so this is what the uh, stack navigator which you know navigates in from sign ups to sign in so I'm going to have screen options okay so this this I'm going to say see here inside this we can pass over you know um, um, react native papers app header component so that the app header will be displayed for this to you know for this stack navigator okay for all the screens which i which are inside this app step i know the stack navigator so let me provide the um, um, header so um so header i'm going to use the header i'm going to pass the values for this header okay so this is going to be say stack header okay so I'm, I, I'll be creating this component now. okay so this is going to be the component stack header so let me go here let me create a new folder uh, util inside the navigation I'll create a new file inside this called stack header .js. okay so this file will be holding our um, the header component okay like whatever we are going to customize that's that will be inside this file in the react um, react and we are going to import app bar so this is this is the component we are going to use from react paper okay so let me create a constant called stack header okay okay so this going to return app bar dot header And inside this, I'm gonna give a bar dot content. Okay, so this content is going to be the title. Okay, content will hold a title. So let me say this title. For now, this is going to be static. We will pass the value I you know soon. Okay, next, we'll export it. So the default. Okay, so let me save this here and we'll go to this abstract navigator and save it. And we got an error. 
let's see is can't find the variable stack header yeah it's not imported let me import it okay save it one more option called header mode header mode we have to set it to screen okay so then you will be able to see the header the app which we have hard coded so now we'll pass uh, actually uh, previously i have uh, made a mistake like i've given a curly brace here so after changing it to the function bracket so it's now it started working and we are able to see the title screen so now uh, what I'll, I'll do is like i'll pass the pass the parameters like uh, what is the screen and uh, and the navigation as well to the header so that we can uh, you know dynamically show the header to that so let me pass in scene navigation and we can also pass in a parameter called previous that's not required now so let me have these parameters accepted in the stack header okay and let me add it to here scene and navigation equal to navigation so there we go uh, we, <coughs> with this we'll get the parameter here okay so what we'll do here we'll just uh, uh, take out take out the value from the uh, scene so that we can show the title like it will scene will provide you all the details of uh, of the I know topmost uh, you know uh, component in the stack okay in the topmost screen in the stack I mean. so we'll unwrap screen so we'll get <coughs> we'll get the description okay so I think it will be available in the format of the options okay equal to C dot descriptor okay. fine so we can say const title is going to be options dot error type okay <coughs> so uh, if this See, if we are getting this then that's that's well and fine so let me update it here the title let me save it so there you go <coughs> so so there are so many parameters out here so if you click on sign up, so here you can see the sign in screen as well so the you know the title is now uh, dynamically coming from the screen object okay so the navigation will provide you all the details of whether you can navigate back or you can you know what is the position of that stack and know the screen is in so those details you can get from the navigation object so with that what i'm going to do i'm going to check navigation dot can So this is one of the function so it will check whether you can able whether we will be able to go back okay so i'm going to say app bar dot uh, there's option for back action okay this is the back action so i'm going to say on press going to pop from the current uh, screen so the current stream will be popped and then the, the next screen will get displayed on the screen okay so now um, if there is nothing I'm going to display a material icon material, material icon. 
icon, community icon I can say. Community. So I can take it from the input. From this, I'm gonna take the material community icons. So I'm gonna take this and put it here. So I'm gonna say name equal to. Let me give it as Instagram. Okay. Size I'm gonna give it as 24. Color, I'll say it as white. Okay, so let's test this out. Something came up, yeah, that's good. So we got the icon over there. Okay, so um, <coughs> let's say I need one more icon. So, so uh, okay, let, let's let's click on this and see whether we are getting. See here in the next screen, so I mean, like we have a um, we have a screen you know below this so we are getting the back icon and if you are going back to the previous screen so obviously you can see only the uh, uh, the instagram logo is getting displayed the icon is getting displayed so you can also use this button over here to come back so let's say i want a button share so something like the notification icon or something so that also you can do with a bar dot action okay icon would be notification i'm not sure like whether we have an icon like this let me save it and see uh, something went wrong we can very well go ahead and see expo icons okay let me take from here no. Let me filter it from the material community. Okay, so let me take this one. Bell icon. So let me say bell. Okay, let me save it and we'll see. So there you go. We got a uh, we got the icon is getting displayed here this is a clickable uh, action button so we can uh, have a on press event on this on press we can say some action okay cancel notification test okay let me save it Once we click on this, so you can see we are pressed on this. So, um, so similar way you can you know customize your app bar in any manner. So, with the help of this app bar provided by the React Native paper. So, this will be much helpful in creating your application. You know, in, in, in the, the, up, the development will be in like much rapid manner. Okay. So here you can see I have used app bar's header, the content, and an action for this notification icon. So, um, so uh, probably in uh, coming videos, I'll try to clone any of the social application what we have, so that it will be more interesting. Okay, so first I'll cover all the topics which are related to um, React Navigation 5 and the React Native paper, so that you can you will be more you will be aware of all the you know components available over here. Okay, so hope this video is helpful for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe and do let me know uh, in comments whatever you think okay uh, thank you for watching